Hey loves, welcome back to my channel, Tara Gay Nicole here. If you are new, welcome. If you're not new, thanks for coming back guys. Always happy to have you. So today, we are doing a quick, a quick gift guide. I don't know how I want to call this like a last minute guide because the day I'm filming it is Thursday and Christmas is Sunday. There are a few things on this list that you could probably, actually all of these things you could probably still get in the store. If you're doing this just for a family, like a friend or a co-worker, I think if you're doing this with someone you love, you should have already thought about these gifts. So, <laughs> um, unless they're just a really easy shop or something like that to get. Sorry. But there are a few things that I want to show you. Nothing spectacular. Things you've probably already seen, but maybe not. So, here we go. So my first thing is if you know someone who is really into, you know their new year resolution is to get organized and get their life together, maybe a um, planner would be good. This is actually my planner from this year of 2016 uh, that just passed. And I've been doing pretty well at keeping it up to date and whatnot. I've actually filled out pages and there are things in here. I was very proud of myself. Towards the end of the year, I kind of fell off. I kind of lost it for a little bit. But a planner is really good. And I actually think this year I want to get a, a bigger planner where I can put like stickers and fun stuff in it. So I want to go check out Michael's. I got this one at Target and I believe it was like $7.99. So these things are, most of my gift ideas are under 10 to 20 bucks. So this is like a $10 gift. Um, <clears throat> another easy thing to do. Now this one, I gave these out earlier to my coworkers. But this is one someone gave me. Yes, it's already scratched off. And it is a winner. I won 20 bucks on a $2 ticket. But what I did was I got the smaller $1 tickets for my coworkers. And there's only like 32 or 34 of us. So it wasn't a lot of money. It was just $34. And then they had three for 10 of the spree. Um, three packs for 10. And there were 12 in each pack of the spree lollipops. And all I did was... Um, tape the lollipop to the back and you can see it more like this on the ones I gave because it was half the size of this and a few people won stuff on the cards I gave as well so that's a gift that only cost pretty much like two bucks can't beat that <clears throat> then you can always 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 go with chocolate most people can eat chocolate that's what I do for the people who don't drink wine like there are certain people at my work that I really really love they help me on a daily basis, so I'll get them a bottle of wine. But for those people that I really, really love that don't drink, chocolate. So there's the Lint um, Variety Pack, which the Variety Pack is awesome because you get to choose. If you don't like dark, light, white, you got you'll find one that you do like. And I feel like everybody loves Ferrero Rocher's. The only reason you don't like Ferrero Rocher is if you probably like have a allergy to hazelnuts and I'm sorry because this is bomb and right now I think I picked these up in Walgreens they were two for six dollars which I bought extra because Ferrero Rocher's are never two for six dollars you hear me never okay and so then you have those people who really like candles like myself and there are even guys who like candles so what I would say is if you know they're a candle person and you know what brand they like Get them a candle. That's never too bad. Now, this one I have is one I love. It's Brazilian Rio Coconut and Teak Wood. I usually like anything with Teak Wood from Bath and Body Works. And it's funny because I bring this one out because it is not only like a theme. It's really more of a male scent. And I tend to like male scents. Um, I can't. Yeah, it smells so good. It's like coconut and teak wood mixed together. If you know Bath and Body Works candles. You know that um, if you like the mahogany teak wood, you would like this. And this is also like a good male candle because it's not so fruity or girly unless that's what your male counterparts like as well. And if you get that on sale, you can get that for like $12.50 or less if you got it a while ago. However, if these are your last minute gifts, you could check out um, Marshall's Home Goods or... TJ Maxx, they have another candle line. The only one I can really vouch for is the DW Home. The DW Home brand smells fantastic and they range anywhere from $4.99 to like $11.99 for or $7.99 for the bigger ones like that size I just showed you. So you can check those out. When in doubt and you have no time, the liquor store is always open. Boom, get you some wine. This is a Behringer um, Pink Moscato and this is the big one. The, like, I think 1.2. This is a big one. 
and this only cost me $10.99. I think it's because of the holidays. A lot of alcohol is on sale. They even had a little gift set, <clears throat> excuse me, a gift set in there that was um, the Jack Daniels Honey for like, it was only $27.99 or something like that that came with two glasses. Great. So check out your local liquor stores if you have people who like wine and alcohol and see if you can find a cute gift set then you have to put one together or you could just get this. And don't forget, when you go there, so you don't have to spend money on a bag at the dollar store, ask the store clerk for a bag for your wine. They have small ones for like a smaller wine, whatever else to get a bag. And uh, that, though, the when you ask the liquor store person for that bag, it's free. It comes with your alcohol, you saved yourself some money. So this entire gift that looks beautiful, and wrapped is only $10.99. <clears throat> Next, we have those people that don't like chocolate because they just don't or they're not a diet or whatever and they don't drink because they just don't drink. Then for those people, I would say venture into your TJ Maxx, Target, or your Home Goods and find them a cute cup. This cup I bought myself a little while ago, maybe a couple months ago, and I love it. It says... I'm the real boss. Yeah, I'm the boss. <laughs> and it's cute because it even has a little crown inside and it's light pink inside. It's from 10 Strawberry Street. It's really, really cute. And they have a lot of these, a lot, a lot of these cups and things like that in the TJ Maxx Targets. I mean, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods. I got this one at Home Goods. So, what I would do is also I would take this item here. It is just called decorative. Um, what is it called? Decorative shreds. Got these at the dollar store. So I take my decorative shreds, shreds and I put them in the bottom of the cup. So I will just put these, take some, a handful, put them in the bottom of the cup. Boom, it's full with the decorative shreds. It might be too many shreds, as a matter of fact. Push it down a little bit. <clears throat> and then what I would do is if that person's a tea drinker, see if you can in some way either just look at what they're drinking or ask them what their favorite tea brand is. And mind you, this cup was like $5.99 if not $4.99. The shreds were a dollar and you didn't even use the whole pack. And then I personally like ginger tea. So I bought this tea and this was only $2.99. So we're looking at probably like less than $10 once again. And I would take out a few of the bags. I think it would be even prettier if you had like a variety pack to do this with. And I would just stick some of the tea bags in there like so. Obviously some more and pull it up so it looks really cute and pretty. And you give them a cute little tea bag set. And you thought about them because you know they're a tea drinker. And you know that whatever tea you found that they really like. So you thought about it, even though it's the last minute. And you can still get that done. You can get it done. So, my last gift? Yeah, so my last gift idea is a little more intricate, but it's still really inexpensive. So what you do is you go to the dollar store and you get another one of these bags, which I've already emptied. It was just the same red filler, decorative shreds. Because of the holiday, I got red, but you can use whatever color you want. Then I picked up boxes. There was two in there and the one I'm using you'll see, but there were two boxes for a dollar and you can use the other box for whatever you want. And then I picked up some Russell Stouffer's chocolates and they look like this. It's so pretty. I feel like anything that's um, like gold colored, but it's Russell Stouffer's caramel chocolate. It's Russell Stouffer's. It's good chocolate. And <clears throat> then you just get your box. So basically, all you're going to do is take your box, like so, and what I did was I took a piece of cardboard, I took a piece of cardboard and I cut it to the size of my box, only because I want my box, it's a dollar store box, I want my box to be a little more sturdy. Then what I did was took the shreds, the rest of the shreds, and I'm about to take about to take the rest that I have left over and just pour them in and line the bottom just to give it some what you're going to put in there 
a bed to sit on. Once you put that in, I was going to also put some red tissue paper. Okay, so you take your cardboard. You can see right there is a cardboard, so you don't so you have a stable base. Then you put your shreds on top so you can give yourself some cushion in there. Then you take your wine, which is about $5.99 or $6.99, and you put it in there on top of that. Then what you would do is you, you can find yourself any pretty cocktail napkins. If you can find one that represents maybe the person's first or last initials, um, that would be cute so, they, so it's personalized to them. I could not, so I think these are also pretty and festive. And this was from the dollar store. The box was also from the dollar store. And then I took the Russell Stouffer's chocolate and put it in a glass that I found at the dollar store. This glass from the dollar store is really pretty also because it has a gold lined rim. Very nice. I wanted to find a bigger one, but I couldn't find any that I like. And I actually wanted to make it more customized and spray paint the bottom of it a copper color. I actually couldn't find copper spray paint at the store. So I'm going to go against that because the last person's last name I'm making it for is Copper. So I thought it would have been cute. And I fill the other one. And I lay it down there. So they've got wine and chocolates. And this is super cute. And so far we spent $2 on the stuffing. $3, $4, $5, $6, and maybe like another $6. We're talking $12 on this gift, honey. And you could also put tape on the back of these glasses so that they don't roll as much. And maybe now if you take your paper to kind of secure in your glasses so that they don't move and hit your bottle. That might not be such a bad idea. <clears throat> or secure it on both sides so it doesn't roll as much if you haven't used the tape. And then you just take the top of your box, cover it, which is this cute, cute fox, which I'm really into this season. So I believe that is all I have today and yes I did have the spray paint but like I said those already had the gold rim and I ended up getting um, rose gold instead but that would be for another project that I'll bring to you guys probably at a later date but that was it that was all for my quick gift ideas you can use these as last minute Christmas ideas or you can just use these as a regular gift guide that for an inexpensive gift that comes off looking really nice well, either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful to someone out there. Remember, in order to be great, you have to be grateful. Have a wonderful, blessed day.